show you the best way to do it, and you can do it this way. Okay? Now, the first rule is, what I'm talking about is the way you should operate the stick, or the pole. And that is, you see dealers all the time going this way to get the dice, and going this way to get the dice, and to push the dice out like that, and to push the dice out like this. Folks, that's not the right way to do it. I started doing this 40 years ago. And back then we had procedures to follow for operating the stick, and everybody did it just about the same. But then there was an influx of dealers that were needed in the industry, and it took too long to teach them how to do it this the way I'm going to show you. And they tell them, well, just do it the best way you can. Well, I'm going to show you the best way to do it, and you can do it this way. Okay? Now, the first rule is, I forgot to, to tell you about moving moving these dice with the stick and this the way I've been showing you to do it is the only time the only time your hand is like this on the stick is when you're bringing the dice to the center of the table your palm is down otherwise at all other times the palm of your hand is up when you give the dice out when you bring the dice in except when you bring them this move right here that is the only time your hand points down. Otherwise, your hand is always up. And if you're going to give the dice to the dealer next to you, you just slide them over. You can choke up on the stick if you need to and bring them this way. Or, if he's on this side and you want to, you can put them down there and then bring them back and drop them off in front and then change hands. Whichever direction the dice are going in, that is the direction your stick should be in. The dice are going to come from this end of the table, they're going to go this way. Therefore, my stick is in the left hand. Let me demonstrate. We shoot the dice. We, we hook the dice. No, no, that's fine. We hook the dice up and we bring them in about this far. And then we change hands and we bring the dice to the center of the table. We pass them out with the same hand. That's what's so neat about this technique, is we bring the dice around and we pass them out to the player. When we bring the stick in from passing out the dice, we change hands, and then we shoot the dice. All right, now we change hands. Our dice stick is in the right hand we need it in. We bring the dice up to about our left arm there. We change hands with the stick and bring it to the center. Now the dice are gonna go out this way again. With my right hand, I bring the stick in, I change hands. Now we bring the dice back in again, change hands, bring the stick in, you change hands. And we're ready for the next maneuver, which is to give the player the dice. Change hands, lock up the dice and bring them in. All right, now I want to show you when you're going out this way. Push them out, just like that. You don't have to take the stick up off the table. Once you take it, it's like you're fishing when you're up here. Down here you got a lot of control, and it's nice and easy to do. I was breaking in, it would take five chips, four, three, two, one. And then we take a stack like this, and we size into these. Chips are chips, it doesn't matter what color. And we keep practicing and practicing and practicing that. If you've got to clean up that line, to clean it up, and come back with your hands clean, no problem. You don't have to stand and straighten anything out. Okay, now. What I would really like to do is explain to you what's so bad about going like this and going like this. One, reaching across the table, after a few years, your back is going to start bothering you, right down here in the lower part. All right, that's a, <clears throat> one good reason, excuse me, for not doing this. But there's a couple other good reasons, too. Uh, you're standing here, 
and you're squared away with the table, and you're you're doing your job with your dice. You're squared away, and you can see with your peripheral vision. You can see the rail, and you can keep control of the game. I one time myself caught somebody stealing money from the gentleman next to him. Had I been like this, I wouldn't have seen it. But because I was like this, I caught it out the corner of my eye. So that's another good reason for staying squared away on the table while you're on the stick. Okay, now here's another one. When you're bent over like this, and you're waiting for somebody to pick up the dice, or you're waiting for them to shoot, or, or, or what, to, to get the dice there, you're blocking the view of the gentleman on this side of you right here. You're blocking his view. He can't see the game. The same thing on this side. You're blocking this gentleman's view. Now here's another problem that we have with going like this, going like this, and that's this right here. This hand is usually up in the rail when you're going like this, or it's up in the rail when you're going like that. It does not belong up there. That's where the gentleman's chips are at. Your hands don't belong up there. And those are the reasons why this is the way we used to do it in the old days. Thank you.